Hey everybody, Rodham here for another episode of the Black Plate Settlers series. This will be episode 25. And just a reminder of my current goals, killing the nearest community, which I have really not done yet, but plan on it. Boomlop Ranch and printing up the base, which is in progress. Now, of course, uh, I think all of you know exactly where I left off here. It was with the uh, dangerous incursion of bears. Oops, let me... There we go. So we have... How many... I didn't even count. 21 bears here. All coming because they want to eat me. Uh, I am excited. I am very, very excited. So let's progress time a little bit. I'm having Vex come in. Dano, you are going to come in as well. Uh, I'm going to make sure that anyone that has even remote chance of mental breaks uh, eat some good stuff and what I'll be doing is recruiting the uh, the pawns that I want to fight uh, one by one yeah bears take a little bit, bit of time they're still they're still way over in the east so I have a little bit of time to finish off the bills you know Let's go ahead and grab everyone that has a pretty decent mood. And group them all up so I can see who I have. Now we haven't built this um, retaining wall or whatever you want to call it yet. Which is something I definitely want to get done soon. Uh, one more thing that occurred to me, my defenses would be a lot better if I had that one little piece of wall segment, so let's go and build that with Sergio. Cole, you're off the hook because you're always in a bad mood. DQ. And Deef. Well, Deef has a sh sort of a short-ranged weapon. I'm going to let Deef go because he's also our researcher. I'd rather him do more productive things elsewhere. And slowing down time a little bit. All right, who do I have left? I got Wolf. Vex, who I wanted over here, maybe. Jurit. Leth. Get the melee layers ready. Uh, let's go ahead and toggle power. And start destroying some bears. Now it also occurs to me that because I am destroying bears, I am um, going to be... Probably it would be a good idea to... Let me, let me think real quick. I'm going to slap some... Temporary walls down here. This will make sense soon because I'm obviously going to have a big influx of corpses and, and the like. And if I want to make use of the meat, I need to use my bigger fridge. Oh, yeah, Velik. Velik here. I'm going to make you not hunt. Where are you, buddy? You're here. These are main constructors, so I just really want them constructing. All right, here comes the main swarm. Looking pretty good. Pretty noisy. Pause a second. Look at my updates. So Velik should be working on... He's working on advanced components. I'm going to temporarily uh, suspend the spine. As I really want advanced components and regular components. So give that a second. Alright, now these guys I'll send over here. They're the assault wielding people. And the rest of them now too. Everyone's out of range. Now I could of course um, make it even more painful. Uh, 
to march in front of the turrets here, what I could do is I could create a wall that encapsulates everything from here. So you have to enter here and go around. And I think I'll do that eventually. That is definitely an eventually sort of thing to do. All right, Miss Vex, throw some fire. You like to do that. Can you get one back there a little bit better? Ooh, that is a really terrible time for a social fight. Got my melee airs in position. Getting some range in position. Can my two people that have assault rifles not be punching each other? That's probably too much to ask. Now the melee are just waiting at the mouth of the exit for some smash time. Any missing limbs? No. Good. Uh, Leth took a very bad bite to his arm. I think he's okay. He is iron-willed. This is a test of wills. We're done. That should be the last bear. And now I'm going to turn this into a um, let's see corpses for food stockpile. Don't allow rotten and allow only animal corpses, insects included. Why not? All right, we'll put the fires out. Euthanize the remaining bears. Let's not rescue them. I, I don't. I don't need more bears on my side. All right, Mr. Sergio. I know this is a little weird, but let's build those walls real quick. And yeah, that, that's going to lock them in. But the reason for the walls is I want to keep wildlife out of the old farm as I move stuff into the new farm. There is a lot of um, materials locked up in these old coolers that I don't need. And because it's also december I can just leave this all out in the open. So... That is what I'm doing, if you're wondering. I, I am, um, at the moment, sort of uh, restricted about how much I can build due to my lack of components. But if I break down some of the old stuff that I am no longer going to be needing, I can remedy that uh, pretty quickly. All right, I'm going to put the kitchen here and the brewery here uh, with the light maybe here. So now this stuff says it's outdoors, but it's also um, enclosed from any potential wildlife. There are doors everywhere. Then additionally, let's get rid of the old NPM. Malik is working on advanced components. Uh, it also occurred to me that I do have, a, what, a ship part somewhere down here? Yeah, there it is. Um, I'm going to send Wolf after it. Oh, there's a lot of wood up in there. That's good. We need to start hauling that back. And the cloth that is currently deteriorating. These were for toques. Ooh, DQ got an infection in his leg. So 
Sorry, DQ. We patched you up. But, uh, you fell ill anyway. Where is Poopy when you need her? I guess what I'll do is I'll give DQ medicine just to get him back on his feet a little sooner. Uh, looking around the world tab. Hmm. Man, they really don't have a lot of neighbors that like me, that's for sure. Ideally, I would like to... What are we working on? Components? I would like to move the... Ah, uh, you didn't haul this. The workshop over this episode. So, I'm going to start prepping for that. You know what? Actually, let's just ignore the roof on here. I just don't don't really care. Doesn't need to be built. What you can build instead are the doors to the kitchen. And then I'm also going to drop a granite wall here connect the rec room with the new kitchen uh, that's probably not the future home of the rec room but uh, maybe I don't know I don't know maybe it is getting the hoppers done let's go ahead and copy the settings and I guess I can only paste them one at a time that's okay Deconstruct these old hoppers, because if we don't do it now, it'll never happen. I'm also going to be able to um, destroy a lot of these walls here. And this was always part of the plan. And building the last cooler that we need so there was a lot of people that wondered about the temperature will I get bugs and whatnot so if you set the temperature down here to be below negative um, 17 Celsius you won't get uh, swarms of, of the insects that you might otherwise expect from a uh, subterranean overhead mountain area. So that's a, that's a handy little trick. Mm. Item stash quest for a bunch of manhunting cassowaries are guarding it. That's pretty strange. It's kind of a freebie though, but uh, where, ah, uh, it's really far away. Sandstone tile. And then I will want to uh, I'll flagstone this just to make it look a little nicer. But uh, I'll probably want to sterilize everything. So in here, I don't really need sandstone. That doesn't need to be sterilized. But in here, we'll want to sterilize it. And then let's start copying. I'm going to take a second to copy over some, some zones here. So... Um, this is our electric stove. We're going to have low priority meat uh, here. Like this. And even though it says low priority meat, it's really going to be preferred. And this will be for raw food meat. And then we'll have likewise, this here will be for hops. Uh, hops storage, yeah, see I got around that. Raw resources, plant matter, hops. 
And then low priority veggie. And this will be for raw food vegetarian. Oh, also in meat, I'll do uh, animal products as well. In vegetarian, I can do hay as well. Um, yes, so that part is done. Then we need a spot for lavish meals and a spot for fine meals. Uh, let me just copy these settings over, providing I did them right the first time. And then copy these over. All right, yes, they're going on the floor. Uh, I don't really care about that. All right, then uh, some tea. I guess I should have copied that over, but oh well. It's too late now. Manufactured drugs for tea. Um, I'll want some storage for high priority, um, high priority meat, high priority veggies, and psychoid leaves. So high priority veggies will be important for vegetarian. And this will be important for just uh, meat, not the animal products or anything like that. And this will be important for the, where would it be? It would be in, it's not manufactured, it's a raw plant matter, psychoid leaves. Yep, ran out of space. Okay, that looks nice. At least enough. Got some chairs in there as well. Um, and we basically have a beautifully painted storage area there now. Poopy, you get to deliver the stations and whatnot. Okay, I have to offer safety. This is almost 60 dudes. So that's fun. Um, I think it's about time I have the, oh yeah, okay. Restrict home zone to make sure that no one is Astray. So we just got Mish Mishinto, who's a hunter by trade. Let's take a look at him now that uh, shooting and melee. So cool. Um, pyromaniac, though, that kind of sucks. At least he's an optimist. Uh, probably going to equip him with a fire based weapon. Keep him a little happier. I like how he shows up and he already hates CC. Oh, well, I mean, that's... Yeah, okay. Everyone hates CC. Poor CC. So here is a real test of my defenses. 60 enemies coming in. Tribals still, but you know. Tribals still wield some weapons, right? And Mashinto, being the good little pyro that he is, decides to go on a fire spree. There is no chance I'm going to save him. Zero. He's dead. Um, he's also an idiot. And Dano decides to try to kill Velik. Well, this... Yeah, Mashinto died. Uh, this is fun. All 
Alright, let's try to arrest Dano. Alright, Mashinto, you being chief idiot. No longer in a murderous rage. Because you got arrested. Alright, I'll put him back down. Uh, let's give you some good moves for your catharsis. Lenka. That is a weird place to sleep. Why are you sleeping there? Ah, oh, because of mechanites. All right, well, despite the fact that this little moron refugee... Oh, I didn't even notice he had a prosthetic heart. Um, got himself immediately, definitively murdered. Um, I still have to... Uh, still have to defeat these, these throng of enemies. So lucky me. Masterwork chair. I suppose I ought to start getting ready for um, such an attack. So, the usual people will come accompany me. Wild man, how about you go prick up your mood? Dano, you too. We, of course, don't really have any deadfall traps at the moment. Um, animals on lockdown. Endelos coal. Have you set up here? These guys are kind of getting close. I'll turn on the turrets. DQ Velik. Leth. Deef with his incredibly short-range weapon. I really need to make something better. Uh, clear home zone. See? Nothing's on fire anymore. You're fine. Alright, I can probably wait to start some additional fires. This light bulb is in the way. I want to stand there. Right, they are getting awfully close, so I need to kill about 50 of them for them to go away. Well, that's a good start. Dano, you are... Okay, Mr. Wildman. I don't have any tea left. I have all these leaves, but no tea. Dang. All right. Um, well, getting you high on smoke leaf is probably not ideal. Both of you report to the front. Lenka. Get tended by Poopy. And Cece as well, I guess. All right, checking in. Trekintosh is barely ahead of them because I accidentally made him stand around a little too long. But if I check them, um, he is almost... Oh, God, there's another wolf here. Well, wolf versus wolf. I like it.
Uh, Jared's gonna have a lot of bodies to clean up. Alright, let's mess with them with a little bit more fire. That's an old injury. Oh, but he has an infection. Infections, 46. Immunities, 51. I'm gonna have him go heal. I'm not gonna mess around with that. is a swarm of people. All right, Velik took first hit. Lung destroyed. God damn it. Why is it always an important organ? Never like destroyed. I don't know what would be less important, actually. But you know, he's a baller. He's going to keep fighting. All right, enjoy that fire, you idiots. In fact, let's start another one. Ooh, I don't want to burn my bear, though. Yeah, I'm not going to start another fire. Alright, Mr. Velik. We'll have you heal. We're starting to get shot here, so I'm just going to draw my people out. Have them happily enjoy getting slaughtered on the uh, turrets. Turrets are still pretty healthy. Alright, they're fleeing. Vex, it'd be best if you did not set the base on fire. There's a bunch of them trying to escape through doors that are closed. Leth, it looks like you got beat up pretty good. Um, Velik needed that bed. Wow, this is just a lot to work at all at once. All right, we open the door for them happily. Let's screw those guys. Okay, let's put some fires out. I'm going to have so many stupid little weapons, aren't I? Well, someone's head got shot off. We have some smoke leaf addicts that attacked us. Leaving their smoke leaf around. Alright. Global glue. Not maybe your literal name, but that's what I'm going to call you for now. Congratulations, the barracks is growing. Oh boy. This was quite the fight. Autocan turret almost running out of... Um, Durability, barrel durability. Okay, so I think we're down a lung. And I think that's pretty much the extent of the, the issues that I had here. Uh, very clearly, I'm going to need a bigger hospital. I don't have a dedicated one yet. So I'm going to set up a little triage here. Because we have quite a few people that need triage. In fact, let me just uh, build some copies. Just in case there's more out there. Uh, I'm going to need to build another tomb. Uh, thank you, Captain Moron, uh, for, you know... Wandering in, needing help, and then immediately uh, getting yourself killed. Uh, what did I put? 
put, I put slate tile in there. Okay. Slate tile it is. Sarcophagus. You know what? You are... I'm kind of glad he's he died. Not that I had anything to do with it. But... Yep. Alright. Oh, still killing them, huh? Even when the barrel runs dry. Alright. Well, that was, uh... Fun. Where's Poopy? Come on, Poopy. You know, I think Jirit would actually want to be tended by Wolf. Something tells me that that's probably true. They're just bruises, but those two are battle buddies. So Endelos is the only one that needs tending now. Well, if you can handle that. Uh, let's assign... Proper medicine. Ooh, shoot frenzy. That would have been useful, you know, a mere moments ago. Well, guys, uh, that is all the time I have for this episode. This episode got a little, um, a little crazy. Oh, look, Glob of Glue. Ah, he's dead. Oops. Sickly fast learner and with a lot of passions. That's too bad. I would have actually really liked to have, um, to have recruited him. But, uh, I screwed that up somehow. Uh, Alright, well, as I said, that's all the time I have. If you have any feedback for me, let me know. Today happens to be the vote day, so if you would like to, you know, influence this series in any way, hop on the, my website, rattlemont.com, or Discord, and you'll see the voting link up in uh, online, and you'll be able to cast your vote. If you haven't already, maybe like and subscribe, and I'll have to catch you all later. Thanks for watching, and adios.